G'day and hello peeps, it is Milmo here and I am back for some more of this Days Gone By. This will be the second one and I guess this one is essentially more important and going to be more in use in regards to farming just purely because it has these anniversary tokens. Now, if we're all aware, I guess it is the one year anniversary of this game and Scrabbly has brought out a few little offers and one of them are these anniversary tokens which give you a chance at a few of these five stars, Um, you know, some of them are quite nice and some of them are like Caroline um, and the reason why I say some are like Caroline, Caroline's actually not that bad of a play. I've already got two of her so I'll be a bit of a crybaby if I get another one but at the same time you can't really whinge about getting a five star essentially for free. It is what it is. So if I end up with Caroline, I end up with Caroline but fingers crossed I don't end up with Caroline. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this first team here is I'm going to have him led by Ezekiel and that's purely because he has the medium boost to items drop rates and that's why he will be leading this team and then I thought I'd just I remember at the beginning of this game we all had this dream of having a full team of Jesuses so I just thought I'd bring in a full bunch of Jesuses just so I could live out that dream because I've never actually used a whole heap of him I don't even really upgrade him I got one fully upgraded I'm pretty slow with upgrading my four stars now because the majority of my teams that I use are all five stars so I tend to focus on upgrading all my five stars r rather than these four stars so they get upgraded here and there so that's why I, I guess I sort of lack in this department and this is why all my Jesuses ain't tier 4 level 70 it's only the one but I just thought I would use him in here because yeah I actually I like I said I like using different teams and showing you different combinations and I know everyone had that dream of having a full Jesus team at the beginning of this game um he's probably a bit less valuable than what he was when you first started playing this game. He was a one of the best four stars you can get. He's still an immaculate four star. Yes, he is, but he's definitely dwindled down in regards to his value with all these nice, fast AP four stars coming through and multi-hitters and things like that. But I just thought I'd throw it in there um, along with my Ezekiels. Now, what I'm going to be doing throughout these stages all in Act 1 and Act 2 is actually using medium boosters all the way through and doubling up on those medium boosters. So as you can see in the first few stages I'm using one of my Ezekiels I have three Ezekiels this is one of my less upgraded Ezekiels I do have a higher upgraded Ezekiel who's on tier 3 almost maxed out there ready for tier 4 but I'm going to use my lower grade one here because I I sent my other one actually off on a scavenger mission but I'm purely using him for zombies and that zombie rush and that medium booster so I'm not worrying about his level or his health or anything like that so that's why I'm using one of my lower tier ones and then I'm just doubling up on that medium bonus by bringing in my faction teammate allies who also have Ezekiels and different medium boosters just so I'm doubling up so I have two medium boosters in there and I'm going to do that throughout Act 1 and 2 just purely to see when these tokens start dropping whether they start dropping earlier in the stages or later in the stages I know um, from people in my faction they're actually farming the later stages of Act 1 and Act 2 and things are dropping so I want to see if it's possible to get any of these tokens to drop in the earlier stages or whether they're only dropping in the later stages so that's why I'm going to keep doubling up on this medium boost and see what happens if we can get any to drop on it more stages than other than the last two of each act and we'll see what we go and we'll see how we go so essentially i'm just trying to work out what are the better stages to farm from these earlier ones um so you can get a few tokens i've you can get a, i've heard people getting a few nice drops like 950 a thousand and you get the little ones like the 155 and things like this so you know if you can get at least a couple of those thousands or 950 that's going to be a solid boost to your overall anniversary token count which of course you need those 40,000 to be able to have a chance at these five stars so if you can get a fair few of them from your raids and then also farming you know you might have a chance at definitely a couple of these anniversary tokens which essentially means a couple of five stars whether they will come in handy is another thing but it's saying that like I said getting a free five star it's win-win either way no matter what five star that is you can use it in numerous ways whether it be in level up tournaments scavenger missions or in your team in general there's always multiple purposes for everything so definitely multiple purposes for those five stars and um, they always come in handy so like you can see we've pretty much had zombies throughout these stages and these guys have been 
killing it. Uh, they have the plus 48 crit with the two Ezekiels there who had plus 24 each. Add that together, plus 48 air for all melees. And of course, Jesus, surrounded by a bunch of Jesuses there. They are all melee. So, you know, they're getting that solid amount of boost of crit there at the 48. And then they've got their weapons who are most pretty much all their weapons are plus 30 crit also so they got about 78 crit count all the time without any rushes but i don't have any crit rushes so 78 crit count is a lot of crit and that's why they are getting through these stages fairly quickly and efficiently um not really getting touched and getting anything close a lot of headshots which is what you would expect to see with such a high crit count and that's what we like to see with such a high crit count pretty much like zooming through these stages with the zombies i uh, like i always say the important things when it comes to zombies is that crit count and to get it as high as possible and make sure you're building a team that is taking advantage of that crit uh like i said in the previous act when i was using that mismatch leader team and i had people that were ranged but had a melee leader skill with the crit that can highly disadvantage you especially in the later stages of acts when the team grade starts to get harder and the stages start to get harder and the zombies start to come up on you a bit faster and you're making less headshots that's when it can become a problem um of course when i was using it in days gone by number one it wasn't as big of a problem because my team grade was still fairly high and they were still able to cope with that lack of headshots but even in the end you saw a few fails and um a couple of attacks there and player deaths that i had to bring in smell and salts and things like that so i always say make sure you're topping up that crit count as much as possible like i said here they're getting a lot of crit 78 crit from the weapons and the two leaders so that's a lot of crit and they are like headshot and pretty well much through this stage really comfortably now of course we've got this storyline going on about rick and this is at the beginning when rick first woke up in the hospital was shot and then ventured out eventually making it out of the hospital ran into morgan and his son got a bit of a knock over the head and basically helping him out really um and then you see that relationship with morgan form later on in this series and things like that so it's it's one of the it's one of the it's, i guess it's a good little refresher of this storyline and these things they bring out uh just to i guess because you know the those early days of this when they first started this zombie apocalypse and things like that you sort of forget them and it's a good little reminder when these stages come up and uh you remember all those great little things and all those stupid little things in the early stages like um and all, even all those characters that we've lost throughout the series that were there in the early stages you know some of the ones you got to think of is like dale andrea amy you know all those ones down at the quarry and things like this so it's it's always a good good little memory trip to go down when they bring out these things from the earlier days it's um definitely a good revisit to those ones um it looks like this act is pretty much going to be all zombies i didn't actually look at the little icon when i first came in i was probably a bit fast fingered and um, didn't look to whether it had the little icon of just the zombies or the people um so i just honestly sometimes when i do these stages i just fling in and i forget to look at that but definitely I, i'm assuming it had just a zombie so this is going to be an all zombie stage that's just off the top of my head i could actually be wrong but i'm assuming that's what it is and you know what that's a-okay with me because we have a pretty good killer zombie team and they are slaughterhouse in this so pretty much as i'm assuming this whole act is just all zombies so make sure you're just building up a nice high crit team and getting ready for this zombie invasion oh there we are we actually got some tokens there so that was on the second last stages so it's pretty much living up to what everyone's saying you're only getting the tokens on the two last stages of the act so i'm assuming if we only got the tokens on the two last stages of this act it might be the same for act two i will have will have to find out essentially when we play act two but by the looks of it it's only going to be the last two stages of every act that's going to be worth farming and that's going to throw out any of those tokens um whether one is better than the other i'll sort of have to work out later on but
But for now, definitely the recommendation is probably right in the last two stages of both Act 1 and 2. They're the only one that's looking like they're going to give you token drops and from what everyone was saying they're the only ones giving out token drops so if you're after farming for those anniversary tokens of course you get them from raids also so um, you can get them from your daily raids or if you want to drop a few raid cans you can do that also and get some extra ones with those raids but if you want to also farm for them then it looks like Act 1 and Act 2 of Days Gone By, number 2, uh, the last two stages of those, so 7 and 8 of those two acts are going to be the two stages that drop off the tokens. Uh, hopefully you can get a couple of good amounts, like the high amounts, like in the thousands and 950s, because they will go a long way to adding to that 40,000. Uh, you can get low ones like 20 and things like that, which, you know, it's not what you want to see. You want to see them high ones, but... It is the luck of the game, and sometimes you got to be in it to win it, I guess you could say. So if you're definitely looking for extra points to get up to that 40k um, outside of the raiding, then, like I said, farming the last two stages of Act 1 and Act 2 are going to be the other option you have to be able to get a few extra points to build up to that 40 and hopefully get yourself a nice 5 star. So there we go again. Stage 8, we've got 175. And of course you're getting all these anniversary tokens, not only when you finish the stages, but when you finish the whole act. So, you know, probably all up you're going to end up with 10, about 10k bonus from these acts, which is a nice little bonus. And then you just got to farm and raid your way through making up the rest of the 30k i guess and hopefully getting a five star but per usual guys thank you for watching